put me just into the abyss, the protected abyss of writing. And I, and I did it, I don't think, with permission from anyone but myself. And maybe not even that. I just did it. A belief is to act it out. I just did it and didn't really understand the consequences. So for the last few years, I have not really been running my company, which is kind of, I don't know, somewhat embarrassing is what I felt at first, like somewhat embarrassing to say, because I teach women and men how to grow their businesses. And part of it is that I needed to go on sabbatical and learn, but I didn't know I was doing that. I just did it. And then it retrospectively, retroactively, I can name what I did. Carl Jung said a belief is to act it out. And it's like, so I acted out a sabbatical where I read and 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 read scientific studies, just got, you know, 20 years of training. Like what, what happened in COVID? What do we know about the microbiome? What do we know about nitric oxide? What do we know about all the microbiomes, the or alone, the sinus microbiome. Is there a microbiome in the brain? How about the urine microbiome? Yeah, urine's not sterile. And that's really what started me on the sabbatical was how little doctors seemed to know about urine. They thought it was sterile. It's not. It's probiotic and dysbiotic. However you are is how your urine is. So you are a community of organisms and that put me just into the abyss, the protected abyss of writing. And I, and I did it, I don't think, with permission from anyone but myself. And maybe not even that. I just did it. A belief is to act it out. I just did it and didn't really understand the consequences. And if I did understand the consequences and I didn't make the choice to do it, I wouldn't be me. And that's important, you know, business metrics are so determinant upon the time frame. So what does that mean? Well, now that I'm back at the helm, <laughs> right? Now that I'm back in the driver's seat and seeing from my purchase, my purchase around North America, Central America, I, I see that I have accelerated in my thought leadership in many niches simultaneously. I have assets. I own everything. I own Uninflamed. I own Primal Habits. I own The Witch's Cancer Journal. I own Upcycle Your P. I own my content. I own my podcasts. I own my email list. So I have an intact global community of you all who are listening. And now that I'm back at the helm and I'm really listening, right? Coming out of the rabbit hole. I'm so plugged in and ready to communicate. So what does that mean for you? New tip sheets, like really highly targeted tip sheets, like tip sheets for microbiome and long haul COVID tips for recipes to heal yourself from cancer from the witch's cancer journal. You're not even allowed to say this stuff. I mean, I probably can't on Twitter. Otherwise, you know, I'm making false claims. Yes. All the witches are making false claims. So to find your way, the Tao, your way, actually, this is the cool teaching. If you take the yin yang symbol, and you look at the squiggly line in the middle, that's the way. That's the path between the opposites. That's the path that holds the tension of dynamicism. So you want your black to be black and your white to be white and to hold the dynamic tension in between the two. So I had to go down the rabbit hole. I had to see how far down the rabbit hole went. And what did I find? Well, something brought me back up to the surface. 
It doesn't mean it didn't keep going. But something, the black pulsing to the white, brought me back up to the back up to you, back up to making the conversation relevant. That like a year or two of sabbatical research and writing, that that's enough to communicate for now. <laughs> Get everyone else up to speed. If you still think that your urine is sterile, so you want to understand urine is, is the best hydrating probiotic fluid that when age turns into medicine, your personal medicine. And the question I went on is why? And then it brought me into so much other stuff. It brought me into compost and soil and it brought me into chemistry, understanding chemicals like DMSO and why they work. So DMSO is the solvent, why methylene blue works to scavenge free radicals. And what do these things do when they, when you mix them together and you alkalize them with baking soda and you add your fresh and your aged and your blue and your DMSO and some castor oil and you just release the plug of chronic inflammation from your colon. Well, I couldn't have said that if I hadn't done the two years of research. I couldn't have understood why. Not that I do, but I under, I can talk a good game. <laughs> And then when someone can talk a better game, then we can really learn something. So I'm back. And what are the other tip sheets? Well, I'm going to straighten out our, our funnels around urine therapy so that it's really easy to find the free, cultivated, wisdom, whatever, ebooks, videos, all the stuff I've made for you, tip sheets, all the stuff that I have that I see is just not that easy to find right now. And where does intermittent fasting intersect with microbiome? And where do those two things intersect with women's health, particularly fertility and menopause? I'll be talking a bit about that. I'll be talking about meaning and how to find meaning to orient your focus, to align your purpose and where that turns into the money path. So the challenge for us, and maybe it's not really a challenge at all, it's that this is global, like we're around the planet, that the number of topics that intersect us at the leading edge, we are an emergent club. So if you're a listener to Yoga Healer or Thrive with Kate or Club Thrive, right, all these things, or just me, Kate Stillman, it's a big scope of your life. Right? Like your, your life is so multidimensional that we have to, by definition, meet your multidimensionality in real time, acting it out. So yesterday I was, you know, for 45 minutes on Club Thrive, Ask with Kate, we dive into kitchen sadhana and microbiome diet. And where do those two things intersect? And what does that look like? What does it look like just to be sprouting and fermenting and dehydrating and how does it all work together with fresh with fresh foods and how easy does it get and how streamlined does your life get and how much does when your microbiome takes over fasting it's crazy right intermittent fasting and microbiome diet or microbiome health can't be separated <laughs> like the more research we do where it's like well it's the microbiome that's determining your fasting times it's your microbiome that's determining your cravings it's your microbiome that's determining your hormones yeah completely interdependent communities just like i am completely interdependent with you and i've never liked the word follower i've never liked the word fan because it's not that like we're not that we aren't that. That's, I don't know what that is. It's consumer language technology. I think it's that. Because if there's a leader worth following, you don't want to be a follower of it. It's like you want to be the dialogue. You want to be the conversation. So we're conversationalists. You guys let me know what you want more of, right? And you can just send curious at clubthrive.global and it'll get to me whatever your podcast ideas or podcast at clubthrive.global either of those will get will get here just let me know what you want because i do i do pay attention all right and exceedingly now that i'm trying to communicate with you instead of just learn everything for us 
I'll be paying even more attention. Yay. Uh, oh. So one of my members, so this woman, she's a member in Club Thrive, but she's only been in there for like so a month. And she just came to the Alta Live event. My next live event is Jersey. It's Club Thrive dot live forward slash jersey j-e-r-s-e-y so she came to the alta event and she has mast cell uh disease long haul covid where her mast cells can't reproduce so her left and right brain hemisphere aren't as coordinated to say the least uh she has trouble walking now this woman was a marathon runner. I've known her for 20 years. I taught her, I think, in the advanced Anusara yoga immersions back 15 years ago. She's just always been a big fan of Ayurveda, my Ayurvedic medicine practice back when I did that. And so we've known each other through all these evolutions of my of my career. And she came into Club Thrive and she was really underweight. And she was always wiry, but she was like really underweight and just such deep fatigue. And struggling. This woman is a smart cookie. I can't I can't remember if she's a lawyer or a mediator. She works somewhere in judicial. Smart cookie. Raised three kids, lived in Norway, like just, you know, on it, growth path. And she's like barely, like just so in survival mode, so in survive through the day. And seeing what happened as <laughs> she came in to microbiome diet, to into Club Thrive, where what we do is just normal in the club. Like Club Thrive, everything we do, thrive. It's free. The club's not free because I peddle in wisdom to contain the strength and integrity of the community. You have to buy in your year-long membership path. But then you get ROI. You get return on that investment so fast. So she comes to Alta, and because of the drive, and it was hard, on her travels hard, travel increases vata, and long haul COVID is like deep, deep vata aggravation. If you were in like adrenaline addiction before COVID, and then all of a sudden you get an autoimmune disease or cancer or something hideous, right? It was it was because of the preceding allopathic. You go into like allostasis instead of homeostasis. Your body's just living in allo, allo's other. Stasis is like home. So you're like in someone else's home all the time. Like that's travel, right? Right? Where you're not in your home. So it aggravates Fata. So she gets there and she's, in, I'm like, I'm worried she's going to face plant. And we're out in the woods on my property in the, on the creek. And it's, you know, it is a dangerous playground out there. And so we all start crawling more with her and getting her down on like all fours to move and just recover left, right brain hemisphere, the cross pattern. Her Agni comes right back and her digestive fire just skyrockets. Cause it's a, if anyone would like, just try it, try crawling for a day, try it seriously. Like try crawling for like an hour of a day where you're not sitting at your desk and you get up on all twos and you're like, wow, no wonder, no wonder we're standing. So then her coordination deepens. So she's sleeping deeper, eating better, like with more digestive fire, just, just in a couple of weeks. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited to get the word out uh, with what we're doing at Club Thrive and tell you guys more here on the on the show and have you all figure out who I should be talking to, who needs to know about the Primal Habits. Primal Habits should be live on Amazon by the time you hear this. Yay. All it is is an extract of Unflamed. Like Unflamed was all of the like, why you want the Primal Habits and all this stuff on like going way deep into fasting and into how you spend money and how you think and all that and society and how we got to here, right? That's all in uninflamed. So it's really good if you're like talking to someone who's mainstream, who has chronic inflammation and, and you want them to understand primal habits, uninflamed is your book. But if you're like cut to the chase, Kate, I just want the primal habits. You can leave out all the why then just get primal habits. You'll be so much happier. <sighs> All right. Well, I feel better now that I talked through. See, I felt guilty at first. That whole like, but it's not about that, is it? It's the yin, the yang. It's the path in between, the way, and finding your way. And you can just ask yourself, like, are you more in the darkness? That's sabbatical. 
that's healing. That's if you're in a fasting phase right now or deeper. Oh, well, if you're moving through healing crises, like you're in the black, be there, just be there. It'll pulsate to the white. And if you're in the white, like, sweet, notice what black you came up out of. Look for signs and symbols of what is going to be the black next and stop having a freaking preference. All right, ta-ta. Ta-ta for now.